What's going on everybody? My name is Tomas. This video is a little different than what I've done in the past. I recently purchased a mid 2015 15 inch Retina Mac Book Pro and the read and write speeds on the SSD that is included in that thing are through the roof. They're absolutely amazing. So I got to thinking, does this SSD fit in my late 2013 Mac Pro and does the Mac Pro take advantage of those read and write speeds? So this video is going to be of me swapping the SSDs from my MacBook Pro to my Mac Pro to see if it takes advantage of the read and write speeds. And you can see my MacBook Pro is a little different. It has a matte skin on it. The matte skin was provided to me by dbrand. Uh, feel free to check them out in the link below. Uh, they make some fantastic skins and they really know how to make your MacBook Pro stand out. So without any further ado, let's test these SSDs first, disassemble, swap them, test them again, and we'll see what the result is. All right, so while we're baselining the read and write speeds between the both of these systems, before we get into any disassembly, I wanna talk about the specifications a little bit. That is a six core uh, Mac Pro with D500s, in addition to having 32 gigs of RAM um, and a 256 gigabyte SSD. This is a 2015 Retina MacBook Pro with the Force Touch trackpad. It's the baseline model with no dedicated graphics, so it's clocked in at 2.2 gigahertz, and it has a 512 gigabyte SSD. Taking a look at this baseline as it's been running for a little bit, the MacBook Pro is besting the Mac Pro by about double because the write and read speeds on the MacBook Pro are just insanely fast. Now I wanna see if this will work in that. So let's get to breaking some stuff down. And before I do that, I wanna talk about the iFixit kit that I have that's gonna help me do that. If you're interested in an iFixit kit similar to this one, it'll be linked in the description down below. All right, so now that we got some baseline read and write speeds between the two systems, let's get to disassembling. And before we start cracking into anything, I wanna make sure and preface this part by saying, if you're gonna do this or do any part of this, make sure you're absolutely safe, power all your systems down, make sure that you're not touching it or anything like that, just be safe. All right, this is the disclaimer, so it's not my fault if you try this and break something. All right, so here we have both of the flash storage modules in hand. This one's from the Mac Pro 256. I don't know how to remove this metal casing around it, but that's okay, it doesn't really matter. The pin structure is exactly the same, so it will indeed work. And before we get into booting these on and trying them out, I wanted to point out that the SSD module from the 2013 Mac Pro fits like a glove in the 2015 uh, MacBook Pro. It just, it, that little SS, that module, that protective covering over the SSD module fits like a glove. It fits like it belongs there. Now the moment of truth. Let's go ahead and try to power on the Mac Pro first. Let's just do them together. MacBook Pro is already booting up. It's recognizing the disc. We've got to wait to see if the Mac Pro recognizes the disc. Let's go ahead and get booted up on this one. Boom. Fits, works. Let's get to testing. All right. Don't look at my password. Don't look at my password here either. Um, just so you guys know that I did switch them. Do about this Mac and then I'm going to do storage. You can see that this has 512 or 500 gigabytes indeed. And we're gonna go ahead and do this one about this Mac. Look at the storage and 250 right there. So I did indeed swap them um, with that information provided. Let's go ahead and test the read and write speeds. Start on the MacBook Pro 920. So it's getting higher write speeds on the MacBook Pro, which I don't understand why. Uh, about a hundred megabytes more now. The Mac Pro is taking advantage of the speeds provided with the SSD that was in the MacBook Pro. That's fantastic news. So if you have a MacBook Pro 2015 or newer, I think that even the older MacBook Pros will work. But for example's sake, the 2015 uh, SSD modules are really fast, really, really fast, as you can see. It looks like it's capping out though. It's stopping at around 1500 megabits, maybe it's because of the PCIe slot on the Mac Pro is limiting that uh, SSD module because I think that version on the Mac Pro is one version one and this is version two. However, the video here has proven that you can swap out the SSD in the 2015 MacBook Pros 
into your late 2013 Mac Pro. Well, that about does it for me in this one, everybody. If you like this video, please feel free to hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit that thumbs down button. Let me know in the comment section down below what it is that I can do to improve. In addition to that, feel free to check out my channel, some of the past works that I've done. If you like what you've seen here and what you've seen on my channel and you haven't subscribed, feel free to do so. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Take care.